pours between the lines. Three, two, one, go! It all comes down to this here at Hopper Field on the Blue Alliance Nerd Herd lining up on that hatch panel and their alliance partners. Spartabots looks like they play successfully as well for the Blue Alliance over on Reds. Haters place one successfully and so do Jaguar Robotics placing a hatch panel for them on that side. Bare Metal going back for one more hatch panel on Red. Blue Alliance with the early lead. On the Blue Alliance as well. Nerd Herds grabbing one more hatch panel from their loading zone. They put that placed on that Blue Alliance rocket. Spartabots on Blue grabbing one more hatch panel from their loading zone as well. Over on Red, we got Team Taters. They're headed back for a hatch panel, but they got a piece of cargo in the way. They're going to clear that out. Bare Metal grabs one more. Here comes the defense on the Blue against the Red Alliance from Blue. Still lots of time left in the match. Nerd Herd placing another piece of cargo in that Blue Alliance rocket. That's going to bring Blue Lions up to a score of 39. Blue Lions does have the lead currently. Team Taters going back for more hatch panels. Actually, more cargo right now. Team Taters grabs cargo from that cargo depot. They place one more piece of cargo in that Red Lions rocket, bringing Red Lions up to a tying score of 39. It's neck and neck, but Blue Lions pulls into the lead. Nerd Herd working on that cargo. They've placed two hatch panels on that Blue Lions rocket. Now they're grabbing cargo to fill in. Here comes defense from the Red Lions side. Red Alliance trying to block out Nerd Herd from being able to reach that rocket. But meanwhile, Team Tater is loading up three more points in the Blue Red Alliance cargo ship with just over one minute remaining. Bare Metal lo lining up a hash panel on that cargo ship, trying to get, they do so successfully for two points. They're opening up another scoring position, Cargo Bay, for that cargo ship on the Red Alliance side. Team Taters, three more points with cargo and three more points from Bare Metal on Red as well, pulling Red up into the lead. Strong defense against Nerd Herd. Nerd Herd trying to get loaded into that Blue Lens cargo ship, and they do so successfully. Being blocked out by that Red Alliance defense still. They need to get back to their loading zone, but Red Alliance defense not allowing the Nerd Herd through. Here we're at T minus 30 seconds until liftoff. Red Alliance does have that lead. Taters scoring one more piece of cargo, and now they're lining up on that Red Alliance tab. They're going to line up for a level two, looking to do a six point climb from the Taters on red with 18 seconds remaining. We got Spartabots on the blue lines lining up to do a level three climb for 12 points. Looks like Bare Metal has got 12 points for red, and we got all the other red robots for six points each on the Red Alliance side. Blue Alliance looking for 12 points from Spartabots with three seconds remaining. Looks like Spartabots may have that, and their Alliance partner Nerd Herd up on level one for three points at the end of finals number three. Referees are going to tally these climbing points and then we'll bring you the official Red Alliance with a score of 94 and Blue Alliance with a score of 65. No penalties in our tiebreaker match. Our Alliance number one, first seed of the Alliance, is going to be moving on to the round robin here. Let's get one more round of applause for 4086. Sorry, 40.